This is Nicholas Six, Chris Cornell, never yours. Let us pray, dear Lord. Bring us back to focus on you. Put our course aright. Forgive us our sins, we acknowledge your Son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, I'm basically going to give a little synopsis of what I said on my last live stream. Um, as I feel this audience should hear it as well. So what are the themes of the Black Witch lately? Never yours. It was never yours. Um... Basically, the things the Black Witch has been putting forth lately, um, basically say, or basically make the assumption that us fans out here wanted what Chris had, wanted his life, stuff like that. are obsessed with him. Stuff like that. Which I find amusing because if anyone's obsessed with Chris Cornell, it's the Black Witch. She writes of him daily. Multiple posts a day. Wasn't even her fucking husband. Was her daughter's husband. Probably, she probably writes more about Chris than his own widow. So if anyone's obsessed, that would be the Black Witch. Um, basically what she does in her posts is she telegraphs her own personality. Um, her own desires and projects them on, I don't know, maybe some cracker on YouTube thinking that that's what it's about, or trying to make it seem like that. What that's what it's about. But the problem is, during Chris's marriage um, to that family, no one wanted to be him. No one wanted a gold-digging, greedy witch of a wife um, that basically is the reason he's dead right now. And remember, everything I say are allegations, conjecture, conspiracy theory, stuff like that. That's all I speak. Your Honor. So no one wanted to be him. Um, no one wanted that life being married to this scumbag family, uh, classless, um, two kids that have a, a, a body count, one of them easily proven, did no time for it, talking about the Black Witch's son, if you're wondering who I'm talking about. And none of us wanted what Chris had, either. The whole reason Chris is dead right now is because of greed, envy, stuff like that. And that didn't come from the fans. It came from the people closest to him that surrounded him in his own life. His own wife his own mother-in-law, they wanted what he had. So as far as all those things never being ours, they were never fucking yours either. Chris's life, for instance, was not yours to dispense with. He was a child of God. That is God's decision when someone leaves the earth. 
not your scumbag satanic asses. Because you want some fucking insurance money. The insurance money was never yours. Because the man shouldn't be fucking dead right now. And your narrative ain't fooling anybody. And your mainstream media tour is a fucking joke. Can't even shed one fucking fake tear. Not even one fake tear. You're pathetic and fucking soulless. And it oozes out of your every fucking pore. Even on mainstream television. So what you're saying, what you're doing, ain't fooling nobody. Not even the people you pay. That's the saddest part. Even they know what's up with you people. And I know exactly who you're talking to with the posts. The problem is, the only people that were envious and greedy is you and your people. Hence Chris being dead right now. Hence Chester being dead right now. Pure fucking greed. That's all it is. That's all you people are. That's all you'll ever be. So please spare us um, your lies or assumptions or, you know, your attempts to cover up your own actions, your own greed, your own envy. Because we all know you looked at the man as your husband, not your daughter's. That's obvious in what you say. That's obvious in your obsession. And it seems the most dangerous thing in Chris's life wasn't his stalker. It was you people. And you know who I'm talking to. Because if he never ran across you motherfuckers, he'd still be alive right now. It's that simple. So what it comes down to, black witch, honey, you were the one that was envious. You were the one that is obsessed still to this day. And you reek of it. That's simple. And please send your trolls to bring up money so I can talk about the 95-5 split. I would never bring that subject up again if I were you or any of your people. And even the fags talking about people from other channels. At least they don't ask for money. That's all you got. So sad when you bring that up. If you were really concerned about money, the trolls, the fags from the other channels. You'd be talking about the 95-5 split and not coming after me. That's what tells me it's about me and it's about lies. And not any concern over money. And your endeavors cost money to run, right? Maybe your husband's taking care of you. Or whatever. No one's taking care of me, baby. And everything costs money to run. And at least I'm not a fucking millionaire with my hand out. And have a record of two years of not giving out a fucking dime, yet taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars. So all you bitches out there that come, come here talking that shit, if you're really concerned about that type of stuff, you'd be talking about the 95-5 split, like I do. But that's not what you're concerned about. Just eat you up. That Nicholas Six is still going, right? Just eats you up. I can tell when you come here with your bitch ass comments that it eats you up.
And don't worry, this video will be on several other outlets and other channels. Don't worry, I promise you that. Just for you. So kick in your sleep and cry about it. And come here with your bitch ass comments. We ain't going nowhere, baby. Nowhere. Now back to the Black Witch and her themes. One of the other themes is Talinda and Vicky. You're part of our family now, Talinda. Talinda, let me tell you this again. I told you this before. You don't want the endorsement of the Black Witch. You don't want the world knowing that she, that family is taking you under their wing. Because that makes you look guilty as fuck. And that makes you a scumbag just like them. So if I were you, I'd distance myself. I know you won't, though. I know they got some hold over you. And you're a scared little girl. I know that. But if you had one ounce of sense in your head, you'd run so fast away from those people. And you'd ask them to never mention your name and their name in the same sentence. That'd be the smart move. But Playboy bunnies aren't that smart, are they? That's why they don't realize what they had. And gypsy witches aren't that smart either. That's why they didn't realize what they had. And they were thinking about, how can we get a payday instead? But what you're seeing where you get multiple posts per day involving one particular theme. That's Publicist 101, baby. That's simple. It's so contrived, it's not even funny. And with every post, we find out more and more about their motivations. Because everything they accuse others of is exactly what they are. Everything. Those comments are aimed at a specific commentator. Yet, they speak directly to the motivations and personality of the people posting the comments. That's what I find amazing about it. They're literally admitting their guilt. Admitting it with every post, with every mainstream media appearance, by going on a social media campaign from second one after Chris took his last breath, making that phone call and admitting it in print like a dumbass. Minutes after Cornell's death, making that phone call to that weasel insurance lawyer. See, the problem is um, soulless entities like them, they don't realize how shit like that looks. They're part of that, or they want to be part of that Kardashian world. They think that's normal behavior. They think that's acceptable behavior. But, you know, at least Bruce Jenner didn't get bumped off. So which family's worse, honestly? But with their daily themes on social media, they're basically telegraphing what they're about. 
They called me a scammer. They are the scammers. Look at the foundation. 95-5 split. They say, certain people are envious and obsessed. No, it was them who were envious and obsessed. And others around, Chris. Not just them. And I'm sorry, um, their actions post Chris's death, to me, in my opinion, seem like the actions of guilty murderers. And remember, your honor, everything I say are allegations and not court-decided fact. And if we want to talk about bullying on social media again, the greatest bully I've ever seen was the Black Witch. Remember, Eddie Vedder, subhuman and not a man, Remember she said that? Just for not showing up at the funeral. You know that joke of a Hollywood funeral where people had smiles on their faces and were laughing and stuff like that? Friggin' red carpet event with some idiot witch from the fucking 60s still thinking it's 1969 wearing a fucking tiara. I don't blame the man for not showing up. He knows what a joke you people are. And he knows what's up. He's just afraid to say it. Unfortunately. But we're not. So don't worry. We're going to keep saying it. All over the internet, baby. And if I get stopped that way, I'll start my own radio show. It's going to go on and on and on and on and on, and on, and on. Fuck you.